Greetings, I'm this Holy Wednesday. Your devotion text today comes from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 14, verses 32 to 42. Reads, they went to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, sit here while I pray. He took with him Peter and James and John and began to be distressed and agitated. And he said to them, I am deeply grieved, even to death. Remain here and keep awake. And going a little farther, he threw himself on the ground and prayed that, if it were possible, the hour might pass before him. And he said, Abba, Father, for you all things are possible. Remove this cup from me, yet not what I want, but what you want. And he came and found them sleeping. And he said to Peter, Simon, are you asleep? Could you not keep awake one hour? Keep awake and pray that you might not come into the time of trial. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. And again, he went away and prayed, saying the same words. And once more, he came and found them sleeping, for their eyes were very heavy, and they did not know what to say to him. He came a third time and said to them, Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? Enough! The hour has come. The Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Get up and let us be going. See, my betrayer is at hand. This text is one of my favorite in all of scripture because we see Jesus being as transparent as we are invited to be with God. Jesus, who knew what was to come, didn't find a silver lining, didn't feel like he had to sugarcoat his emotions. We hear that he is distressed and agitated. We hear that he is deeply grieved even to death. And he is articulating this to his close disciples as well as to God. And I think often, sometimes, there are feelings that can become overwhelming for us. And we wish to dismiss them or pretend that they're not there or find the silver lining in a difficult situation. And while finding the silver lining isn't negative, sometimes it keeps us from being able to really know what is to come and how to be able to navigate it. And so perhaps during this sheltering at home time, maybe you're noticing that you're agitated yourself. Maybe you're even distressed. Maybe you're responding to things in anger and you're realizing that maybe you just wanna keep busy so you don't even have to figure out what you're feeling. I hope that you can take comfort in knowing that no matter how difficult times can get, that we never have to lie or hide any of our emotions from God. That if Jesus is able to name exactly what he is feeling before God, so can we. God, in fact, created us to feel such things and to feel like we can't express those to God is shortchanging our relationship with God. So I invite you this week, to maybe do an emotional inventory. How are you feeling? What are those deeper emotions that maybe you're keeping at bay or trying to hide by keeping busy? And take comfort in knowing that if Jesus can find his moments of transparency, asking that the cup pass before him in the Garden of Gethsemane, you can feel whatever you feel and know that it is valid before the one who created you. And in doing so, Maybe you'll find a little bit of respite. Maybe your shoulders will get a little bit lighter and you'll be able to breathe a little bit easier. Know that no matter what you feel, God is always there. You can never have an emotion too grand or too deep or too scary for yourself to ever take it before God. God is here to receive you for there is nothing you can do to make God love you any less or anything you can do to make God love you anymore. You are God's beloved. Take comfort and find peace in that. And let your prayers be as authentic as Christ's were in the Garden of Gethsemane. Amen.